All right, Gemini, welcome in. This is your August reading. Let's see where we're going. There's a lot happening this month. There is a very strong Mars Jupiter conjunction in your sign of Gemini. So whatever you have in Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or more than that, or other planets or whatever, um, that is very loud. And it is going to be, especially because it's Mars is activating energy, Jupiter's expansive energy, and it's in Gemini. So it's about communication. It's about some saying something really forcefully or putting something out there in a really dynamic way. Jupiter is expanding that. Okay. So whatever you say or whatever you put out there is going to reverberate in a big way. And it is squaring Saturn and Pisces. So that square means that it is uh, tension as it relates to your lessons. Okay. So wherever you have that in your birth chart, whatever that's transiting, those are the transits happening. What is going on in your birth chart in terms of your own house of Gemini, wherever that is, and Pisces? Pay attention to those two houses because those are the two houses that are going to be impacted. So for example, mine, my Gemini is in the eighth house and that Pisces energy is in the fifth house. So that is soulmate energy in, in the eighth house and romantic energy in the fifth house. So because it's Saturn, it can be lessons around that. All right. So if you want to jump on to my astrology group or Pathfinders, you can ask questions about this of me and we'll get your questions answered. Links are below. The time, time is showing, is getting short. Time is getting short here, Gemini. Grounded, trust, and yeah, soulmate. There's some soulmate uh, communication or some soulmate connection that is running out of time. All right. The time is growing short that I heard that very loudly in my mind, in my heart, actually, the time is running short. You may not have a whole lot of trust uh, around this situation, or you can be holding on to trust uh, around somebody, around a person, maybe that doesn't deserve it. Or you might be trusting a situation to just kind of work itself out. Uh, I feel like the time is growing short. Right, you're running out of daylight here, Gemini. Okay, maybe somebody else is running out of daylight. Underneath is the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Wow, the Empress and the King of Cups. Um, I almost feel a little bit like there's a decision to be made here. It's like for love or money, love or money. Do I go with the choice that is loving to self or am I going to do something out of security, the security? And this is coming from a family belief. Which am I going to choose? Some of you feel like you're ho hogtied a little bit, like you're blind about somebody. You're not really seeing the truth of the thing because of your trust or because you want to trust them so much, you're not really seeing the truth of the thing. You're giving them a more of a benefit of the doubt than they deserve. All right, Gemini. So the seven of wands, Hierophant, page of wands, emperor, Queen of Cups, we have the Emperor and Empress, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Sun, the Two of Pentacles, wow, and the Tower. Why? I had this feeling of some kind of blast, some kind of impending, okay? Everything else here is very stable. Everything else that's showing up here is very stable, but I don't feel like you really see what's going on. I feel like you're kind of in a place of, all right, I'm just, um, it feels to me that this is what's going on, but I don't really get the sense that you're feeling this coming. I don't feel that you're feeling the tower coming. 
Um, some of you are blindly trusting a situation and you haven't really thought about it long term. You haven't really thought this through. Okay. The Mars Jupiter conjunction may be this. All right. Where something is said that's been held back for a long time. Someone is holding their tongue. All right. Someone is holding their tongue. Tongue could be you, could be the other person. Um, I feel like it's in the face of some kind of tradition or some kind of, you know, family tradition or a needing to feel safe, you know, like kind of um, you're not paying attention to your intuition because it's telling you to do something that you don't want to do. And that can be because time is short. All right. Time is short. This tower is coming. This tower is coming. I almost feel like you have maybe a little naivete around what's possible here. What I mean by that is you have a touching faith in um, this administration or touching faith in this, uh, the powers that be, that they'll do the right thing or someone outside of you will do the right thing because they're a parent or because they're um, someone that you look up to or something like that. But I just feel like your, your trust is misplaced. Your trust is misplaced. I feel like this person may come across as somebody who deserves your trust, but they don't page of wands. They're really, they're really a child inside. They're really not a fully formed adult. So if you are expecting this person to do the right thing, uh, I, you know, I, I almost feel like it's up to you, Gemini. You cannot, you cannot, um, hand your fate over to this person or to another person right now, because I just don't believe that they're really, um, They don't deserve your trust is what I'm saying to you. They don't deserve your trust. So you've been resisting making some kind of choice. I'm getting the two of cups here, the two of pentacles, this either or, either or, either or kind of feeling. And, you know, you seem really uh, strong and powerful to me. I get the emperor here and the queen of cups, someone who has a really good heart, someone has a really um, strong sense of where they're going. There's love here. Okay. You feel, you might feel love for this person. They're not even capable. You think that this person is like some kind of king or some kind of, uh, you know, worthy of your respect and attention and everything like that. They are not, they're the page of wands. This person is not, um, not capable. They've been like pulling the wool over your eyes for a long time. The seven of wands, they've been trying to make you think that they, you know, they have it all together or that they are, you know, really working on things or something like that. But in reality, they're kind of looking in a different direction. All right. So if you are, you know, standing up for them and they're looking at you, this hierophant, you know, but really in reality, they're kind of looking to a different direction. This person is going in a, in another direction. They may not have even shared that with you. So your choice is not, it's not fair because it's not, it's not like a, a an apples to apples kind of choice, whatever choice you're making. You're deciding to go in this direction or that direction. And you think on some level that they're the, um, they are both worthy of your trust or both worthy of your presence in their life. They're not, um, you've given, you've given someone too much credit. You, you know, you've wanted to see this person as this amazing accomplished, um, dynamic individual. And they are just not that this, I mean, this could be a family member, whatever you're giving them way too much credit. So, um, I am seeing that you have, uh, an opportunity here to, 
sort of step into your heart, step into your um, heart chakra here. There's an emperor. There's a, a, you know, someone who does match your energy here. King and queen of cups. This is more balanced. Okay. This is more balanced. This is more compatible even. And if, and if I were to say to you, okay, based on your, based on your heart's desires, what would you do? If you choose this, this person, if you choose the one you put on a pedestal, I feel like you, the tower shows up. It's like, you're not going to be allowed, which is why you might not be making any decisions. If you make a decision to go in that person's direction, I feel like you get the tower here. The one who isn't who you think they are. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, tower, please clarify the tower for me. Six of swords jumped out. Four of cups, the death card and the lover's card. So Gemini, there's your energy and it's not going to all be for nothing. I feel like, you've, you know, I, there's something here about you just not making a choice and time is running out. Okay. And you might be like, well, I'm, I'm choosing this person, but I'm really, I don't feel like you're choosing yourself. I feel like you're choosing to give all of that to another person. And it's almost like the universe is going, really? You sure about that? I just feel like if you're putting your trust in someone who doesn't deserve it, the universe is going to blast you a little bit here. Okay. And to get you back to, to bl blast you awake, to get you back to the place where you're like, Hey, wait a second. This person does not deserve my trust. Um, I'm going to shoot now I'm choosing differently. I'm choosing, I'm seeing that this person is just sitting still. I've been very stubborn about this. I'm a Gemini. I've been very stubborn about this. Right. So I had the chance to move on a couple of times, but I'm just like waiting, 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 waiting. Power and death. Two, uh, this is the uh, lover's card. So that it is, there is a decision coming up. And I almost, you know, the universe is almost like saying to you, if you, if you look at the underlying reason you've given this person so much power and you've legitimized them, what's the underlying reason? Why have you given somebody some, this could be a love partner, so much credit where they deserve none? Why? So I have a feeling it has to do with family. So you're not really seeing someone for who they are in your family and you're doing the same thing with this person you're giving them the same benefit of the doubt the two of cups is here and let's see the two of cups is here four of swords the seven of pentacles the nine of cups and the, again the so we got more twos here Two of cups, two of swords. Do we have two of wands? No, we don't have the two of wands, but we do have a choice card here. And there's just so much standing still in this reading. So much standing still. It's almost like this person can do no wrong. It's almost like this person can do no wrong. And so something happening in the month of August is going to show you that time is up. Okay, time is up. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna continue on with this reading. I'll look at what you don't see coming. Let's get some advice. Uh, I wanna know more about this person and what's gonna be happening with that person, okay? All right, link is below Gemini. I will see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.